So this is the first video I've actually filmed of my new flat. Um, I feel like this year I might actually do a flat tour, but I need to get a few more bits. I still haven't got like a rug or a nice mirror, and I'm also waiting on some items that are in the post. I am sat here to tell you uh, <laughs> it's a traumatic story about dyeing hair. So one of my most popular videos on this channel is of me dyeing my hair. I decided to go in the opposite direction and instead of going blonde, I wanted to go brunette. So you would think this shouldn't be that difficult. Thing is, I have always had issues with hair dye as I am actually allergic to PPDs. Now if you don't know what they are, it's basically the shortened name of a very long chemical. Um, I gained the allergy when I was on holiday and I had a black henna tattoo. Um, it was a swallow on my collarbone right here and I literally reacted so badly. The whole thing blistered and basically my skin peeled off. Um, to the point where I had a tan and a white swallow because, you know, the few layers of skin that were there had gone. Um, so basically I didn't think much of it at the time, but that um, high level of PPD from the black henna is actually what's made me allergic to most hair dyes. So I find it really difficult to dye my hair in a salon or to just use any kind of hair product which changes the colour of my hair. Um, so basically I wanted to go dark brown so I bought this product, I'll put it up on the screen now, it is the L'Oreal Creme Casting Gloss in Chocolate Brownie and I thought okay that looks like a lovely dark brunette, this is gonna go great, blah 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 blah. <laughs> I, I, I was heartbroken because, and don't get me wrong, a lot of people did like the colour it went but it went this colour, we're talking proper dark red like it was just so red and I hadn't even seen that there was red in the colour dye to me it just looked brown like maybe a warm brown but not red so not that there's anything I like bad about that colour but when you're expecting to go this colour and then you go this colour you can see why I was miserable <laughs> um so yeah that is what happened and I'll insert some funny videos now so you can just laugh at me I fucked up. I really fucked up. I fucked up. As many of you know, I fucked up. Ellie is going to take the dye out of my hair with colour before. I want to cry. Hashtag spots. <laughs> it's ginger. It's literally ginger. But my instant reaction was me and my friend Ellie were doing this to my hair and I was like, right, this is shocking. Like, L'Oreal, if you're watching, so unimpressed might see you, joking, kind of. Anyway, um, so what I did was Ellie had a colour before packet. Um, I just want to state the L'Oreal dye, as far as I'm aware, did not contain the PPD. I've used that product before um, in a different colour and it's never, I've never had a reaction or anything, like it doesn't contain it. So I'm assuming the PPD came from the colour before packet. Basically, I would not recommend this. How does it look like poo? Just, just fuck my life. <laughs> this right here is friendship goals. <laughs> look how horrible it looks. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Be grand. Be fine. I used it years ago when I was trying to get the remaining of a semi-permanent out of my hair and had no problems. Um, they've definitely changed the formula because when I used it, like, and my housemate Ellie can vouch for that, it literally smelled like rotten egg and my hair for about a week afterwards, even though I was shampooing it like a lot, smelled like rotten egg. So that's obviously not a nice thing for your hair to smell like. It's smelling a lot better now. But um, yeah, so that's not nice anyway. But the cool thing was that it didn't even get it all out. So my hair, it's calmed down a lot more now. It kind of looks more, a bit more brunette and with like goldy gingery tones. But my hair went bright strawberry blonde ginger. We're talking ginger, okay? Inserting more pics and videos now. 
I just, <laughs> I want an easy way to dye my hair without having to worry about, you know, colour or anything like that, let alone the PPDs. But, <laughs> you're not going to believe the next thing that happened. And I didn't take too many pictures of this because if I'm honest, I was feeling pretty miserable because my hair was very bright ginger. Um, but I basically had an allergic reaction. So when you're not expecting either of the products you use to have PPD in them, and then obviously one of them does, you're gonna be pissed off. Like as someone who is allergic, it is not a nice thing to have a reaction. Um, you know, your, your glands get a bit swollen. I had like a red rash all down here and like round the back of my neck and a few patches in my actual hair. And they didn't blister really badly, but it did happen and it was sore. You know, I was embarrassed. I was at work and like someone came up to me and said, oh, by the way, you've got a red rash on the back of your um, neck. And I just like, it, it doesn't make you feel good. The fact that one of these products has made me have a really bad reaction and on the actual packaging, did it state it? Nope. So obviously that was not a nice thing to go through either. It's calmed down a lot more now. And I'm basically just a gingery brunette. Basically, that is my crisis story. I have no idea what I'm going to do now. At this point, I don't know whether to go blonde. I don't know whether to go brunette. I don't know whether just to, to stay ginger. But yeah, I just thought I'd share it with you this little story because it was quite amusing, quite stressful, and also I would really not recommend either of the products I used. And because of that reason I feel like it's quite important to share it online because normally before I use a hair product or even anything really I'll watch a review of it or I'll have a look at a blog post about it and I wish I'd done that before using these products because whether you're allergic to PPD or not like do you want your hair to smell like egg? Do you want to go ginger or strawberry blonde or whatever you want to call it? I'm thinking not. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you were thinking of using either of these products I hope it kind of weighs it up a little bit um, one thing I will say is if you've gone through this like I have and your hair's ended up ginger, if that's how you've stumbled across this video, um, what I have done to help it, because um, obviously I'd had a reaction so I couldn't re-dye it, couldn't cover it up or anything like that, so what I did is I bought silver shampoo, which um, within a day or two did take out a significant amount of the really orange tones. Obviously it's still quite coppery and gold and gingery but it's a lot more bearable a colour to the point where I don't feel as self-conscious about it. Um, so the silver shampoo thing is a winner, although it doesn't really help with the egg smell, so there's that. Um, but if you are like really struggling with like a bright colour that you've had by accident, try that because it can gently tone it without damaging your hair. And also, I went out and I bought this by um, Tresemme, and it's a breakage defence restructuring treatment mask so basically what I did was I put it all over my hair and slept in it and washed it off and it was just a deep conditioning um, and it also did actually soothe the allergic reaction a little bit um, and this was only £5 and you get 500 mils, so that is a really good deal but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful and I'll see you soon bye